Hello and welcome to another season of NIU Weekly. I'm Terry Bonadonna. I'll be the host with you over the course of the next few months here on the show. And I already know what you're thinking. What happened to Andy? We want Andy. Uh, Andy Garcia, don't worry, will be around all season. He's been bumped upstairs. He's the new play-by-play voice of the NIU Huskies this season. So I know he's very excited about that. And he has made the very questionable decision of turning the reins of this show over to me. So we'll see how that goes as the season goes on. But I know I'm very excited to be a part of NIU broadcast this year. I'll be on the sidelines throughout the games over the course of this season. Uh, and, of course, as the host right here of NIU Weekly each week, I'm very excited to get to know the coaching staff of the Huskies football team and, of course, throughout the athletic department, coaches and administrators. I know we're going to have a lot of fun and get a lot of great information from people over the course of this season. Each week, this show is going to give you a look at what's going on with Husky Athletics on the official NIU Athletics YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like all of these videos and subscribe to the channel because you will not only get every week NIU Weekly through this channel, but you're also going to get uh, weekly post-game football press conferences. You're going to get football, volleyball, basketball, game highlights, uh, and a whole lot more than that as well. So uh, make sure, again, to subscribe to this channel and be sure to like the videos as well. We're going to be talking to the head coach of the Huskies football team, Thomas Hammock, in just a little bit. Before I bring him aboard, just a quick reminder to you that it is not too late to get your tickets for NIU football this year. Season tickets are still available. They provide the best value. uh, And we've got a great schedule this year as well. One of the more exciting schedules uh, in DeKalb for a long time. Five Saturday home games this year. That's the most since 2012. So uh, make sure to pick up your tickets. You can go to NIUHuskies.com slash tickets for that. Once again, that's NIUHuskies.com slash tickets. Of course, I mentioned we're going to be bringing Thomas Hammock onto the show today. We'll be talking with him throughout the football season. Uh, Countdown to kickoff is on. We're just days away from the season opener against Western Illinois. And I'm very excited as well. We're going to bring Paige Schinberg onto the show. Paige is the Associate Athletic Director of Brand and Equipment Management. Uh, She's going to talk about the debut of the new Victory Thread Store, as well as some of the uh, very exciting merchandise that is for sale on NIU right now. Without further ado, let's bring on the head coach, Thomas Hammock. Pleased to be joined now by the head coach of the Huskies, now in his sixth year running the Northern Illinois football program, Coach Thomas Hammock. Welcome to NIU Weekly. Thanks for joining me this week. Hey, thanks for, thanks for having me. It uh, It's always exciting, week one of the season. I know you've had a lot of summer practices, getting ready for this one. How does it feel just going into the opener? Well, it's definitely exciting. Um, obviously, uh, it's game week. The guys are excited. Uh, they put a lot of work in from January un- until now. Uh, to get themselves ready to play. And now we're in the final days of, of preparation and making sure we can go out there and play at a high level and play together. You've been working towards this one for a long time, it, regardless of who you're playing. Uh, how do you get the players' mindsets ready to go for a week? I mean, how big is it just to, to know that you're going against another team? I'm sure the players are a little sick of playing against each other. Yeah, no, we, we talk about fighting for a standard, um, you know, a standard of how we practice, a standard of how we play how we want it to look, snap in and snap out. Uh, we have a very competitive football team. And, and the one thing we talk about is, you know, you don't know when your next snap is coming because it's somebody that wants that opportunity. So uh, when you have a chance, go out there and play your best, uh, perform to, to, to the best of your abilities. And that's all we can ask for as a coaching staff. Looking at the team and getting ready for this Western Illinois game, how comfortable do you feel about the lineup that you're going to be putting out there? No, I, I like I like where our team is at. Uh, I think, you know, since the bowl game until now, I think they've uh, continually uh, gained confidence. Uh, they put themselves in position to uh, become better football players. Um, and, and I like uh, the depth, uh, the competitiveness, and the overall team uh, as a whole. You mentioned that bowl game, and it's always big coming back in a season after you've won a bowl game the previous year. Uh, maybe it's a little bit difficult to maintain that momentum considering it's been – you know, eight, nine months since you've, you've played on the field in a competitive game. But are you able to carry some of that good feeling over from winning the bowl game into the start of the next year? Yeah, I mean, it was a tremendous uh, game, uh, a lot of momentum heading into the offseason. I think it really gave a, a jump start uh, to our seniors. You know, we got a lot of seniors on this football team, a, a lot of guys that's been through the battles, the ups and the downs and the in-betweens. And I think that bowl game, along with the offseason program, kept them motivated of, you know, we can do more uh, and we have to take advantage of the opportunities early in the season uh, to give ourselves a chance at the end. You've had a lot of success over the years 
opening season since you've been with Northern Illinois. You've only lost one season opener uh, in the last five years. What do you think has been the key to that success? Well, I think the big thing for us is, um, you know, making sure we get our work in and we're smart, but the players go into the first game fresh, mentally, physically, emotionally, uh, and everything else. And I think we, we put a great plan together, uh, the way we set up the training camp, the way we set up this week, uh, to make sure that they could be peaking at the right time. I think sometimes you go into an opener and, you know, your, your body may not feel 100% or your legs don't feel 100%. I think our guys are fresh. Uh, they're anxious to play. And I'm excited to watch him. We've spoken in a lot of generalities so far, but I'm sure uh, everybody's really excited to get to know this team a little bit. Who are we looking out for? Who are the players to watch? So let's just start on the defensive side of the ball because uh, you're coming off of a season where the defense was outstanding. And I know you're bringing back a lot of key players from that. Who should we be looking out for on the defensive side? You know, well, for us, it starts up front. Um, you know, a lot of our Success on defense happens for the guys up front. A guy like Devontae O'Malley, Damon Taylor, Cade Haberman, Roy Williams, Jelani Williams, Skylar Gill Howard. Uh, those guys really make a, a, a difference uh, in a lot of guys behind them uh, to play freer. Then you look at the linebacker position Christian Furman and Jaden Dolphin, along with Quinn Erweiler, uh, Jake Gassaway. Uh, those are guys that you're going to see heavy in the rotation. Uh, and then on the back end, uh, Javon Bird. Um, Amarion Knighton, uh, Finley, Nate Belcastle, uh, Santana Banner, Muhammad Jamey, Cyrus McGill, uh, those guys, we feel like we got about 18, 19 guys that can potentially be starters for us that we're going to rotate through uh, and give them opportunities to make plays. And then from once we get into the game, it's about, you know, what guys are performing the best. And those are the guys that we'll go with. Let's skip over to the other side of the football uh, and look at the offense a little bit. What are you most excited about offensively this season? Well, you know, we build our team inside out. And so I'm really excited about our offensive line. i uh, got a lot of guys that's played a lot of football. Uh, Logan Schoenitz, J.J. Lippy, John Champ, Evan Buss, Evan Malcor. Those guys are multiple-year starters, uh, along with some of the guys that's behind them. Uh, and then, obviously, the tight end position, a, a guy like uh, – Grayson Barnes, uh, Jake Applegate, who we got from Nebraska, a fullback in Brock Lampy, At the wide receiver position, Trayvon Rudolph, uh, Dane Parchers, Cam Thompson, uh, and a host of other guys. And then in the backfield, we got some, we got three or four backs that can go out there and uh, help us win a game. Uh, and then Terry O'Brown, uh, Gavin Williams, Jalen Poe. And then the quarterback position, I'm excited for the quarterback to go out there uh, on Saturday and perform at a high level. Yeah, I know that's been one of the big questions going through this entire offseason is who's going to start a quarterback. You talk about building the offense from the inside out and knowing that you are going to have a new quarterback this year. And you've got some guys on the roster with experience, uh, but nobody's been a full time starter at Northern Illinois. Knowing that you've got such an experienced offensive line, how important is that going into a season with a new starting quarterback? Well, I think it gives you a comfort level at the quarterback position. You don't have to go out there and win the game by yourself. Uh, you have a lot of guys uh, that can make plays for you. You have a tremendous offensive line in front of you. Uh, and all you have to do is do your 111 uh, to help the team be successful in offense. And I think that should give you a lot of confidence to go out there and, and do your job um, and, and understand that uh, games are not going to be won and lost at the quarterback position. It's all uh, 11 guys on offense, all 11 guys on defense, and all 11 guys on special teams working together uh, to try to maximize our performance. I'm looking at that quarterback position one more time. Again, we'll find out who the starter is uh, on Saturday against Western Illinois. But uh, you, you've had a full competition throughout the offseason. You've had a few guys working towards it. How have you felt overall about the level of competition within that quarterback room and what each guy's brought to the table? No, I love it. I think uh, it's, it's the deepest room we've had. I feel like we got three guys that can go out there and, and perform at a high level and help us win, uh, which gives you a, a tremendous amount of, uh, depth. Uh, we understand throughout the season, um, things happen, guys may get injured. Um, and so to have three guys that we feel like uh, that can go help us win uh, gives us confidence that we can go play a 12 game season uh, and give ourselves a chance each and every single week. Let's talk about the special teams a little bit. We've discussed offense and defense, but obviously special teams is a big part of the game as well. Uh, who are you looking at in some of those positions? No, I think, you know, our specialists are all back. Uh, Tom Foley, Cannon Woodall, and Isaac uh, Hatfield. Uh, so we understand th those guys know how to do their job and get it done 
uh, extremely well. And then our cover units. We got a lot of athletes, guys that have started uh, at various times in their careers on our coverage teams, uh, on special teams. And they understand that that's an important third of the game. They take it very, very seriously uh, and, can, and, make, and, and can make a tremendous impact uh, in our ability to win football games. So uh, love the depth on special teams, but I think that depth carries over from the depth that we have on our football team. And uh, they understand all three phases need to be working together uh, to give ourselves a chance. Let's look ahead to the opening game of the season facing Western Illinois. Uh, it's a team that has struggled over the last couple of years, but they brought an entirely new coaching staff. They've got a lot of new players on the roster. Uh, how do you prepare for a game like that? And what kind of challenges do you expect them to bring? Yeah, no, obviously you're looking at a lot of different things. Uh, the defensive coordinators from Davenport, the special teams coordinators from Liberty, obviously the head coaches from Eastern Illinois. So uh, there's a lot of different film that we're watching and trying to piece it together uh, along with the amount of new players that they have in the program. So, you know, it's going to be a, a game of adjustments. They're going to have some things that, you know, we may have not prepared for. Uh, we have to be able to settle down, understand the adjustments that we need to make, and then go out there and perform. And so, obviously, for our players, you want to give them a big picture point of view, but understand um, anything and everything is possible in the first game when you don't have a whole lot of information. I'll get you out of here on this one, Coach. For you, it is year number six with Northern Illinois. How are things the same? How are things different? How is your preparation coming into this season? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for us, uh, we really established a culture in our program. Uh, I think the guys understand it, the, the standards and expectations um, that's expected uh, on the field, off the field, uh, how you carry yourself, how you conduct yourself, uh, how you represent our program. Uh, so that's been a joy to see as a head coach. They understand and they they carrying that message forward. Uh, the excitement is always different, right? Every year you have different uh, excitements. Uh, when you understand some of your strengths and weaknesses as a team, how can you offset some of those things uh, through preparation, uh, through game plan, uh, through uh, things that may happen over the course of the year? So uh, obviously the first game, um, there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, some guys need to step up at different spots. And I'm excited to watch him go out there and compete. That's the head coach of the Huskies, Thomas Hammock. Coach, thanks so much for your time. I'm looking forward to working with you. And, uh, and we're looking forward to hearing from you on NIU Weekly over the course of the season. Thank you. And go Huskies. I'm now very excited to be joined by Paige Schinberg as our next guest here on NIU Weekly. Paige is the Associate Athletic Director for Brand and Equipment Management. Paige, welcome to the show. Happy to have you here with me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here and excited to talk about this. It's been a little over a year in the making, so I'm excited that we're here now. Well, I know that you are one of the most popular people on campus right now because I've been told by so many people, so uh, it's <laughs> got to be true. Um, you are supervising the equipment staff that outfits the Husky student athletes, and you've also been responsible for getting uh, the new on-campus Husky apparel shops up and running. So congratulations on that. I know uh, the new Victor E. Thread stores are officially open. They are. They are. It has been a fun project. So excited to be here. Where can people find these Victory Thread stores? When are you open? Uh, and what are we looking for on campus? All right. We have a whole bunch of locations. So um, we have the first location is inside the rec center. Um, you'll find us to the left immediately after you walk in the front doors. Our hours there are Monday through Thursday, 2 to 8 p.m. Friday from 4 to 6 30 p.m and Saturday from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. We also have a store inside the Convocation Center lobby. Uh, that location will be open for all combo events, including volleyball, men's and women's basketball games, wrestling, gymnastics competitions, all shows, concerts, anything that's going on in the Convocation Center. Uh, another location will be our trailer, which will move around to outdoor events like baseball, softball, men's and women's soccer games, um, as well as in the yard for football game days. We'll also be at uh, local events. For example, we were at Corn Fest this past weekend and had a lot of fun there. Um, and then finally, we'll have a kiosk under the east side of Husky Stadium that will be open on football game days as well. What has the process been like getting to the point where you're able to open these stores? Um, it has been a lot of work, a lot of collaboration, um, I don't think that there is an area within, especially NIU athletics, but maybe all of NIU that I haven't had some kind of communication with along the way. 
Um, a lot of people collaborating and making it happen definitely was not just me putting all of this together. So um, huge shout out and thank you to everyone that's kind of been a part of the process to make this happen. What have you seen so far as what some of the, as far as uh, what are some of the most popular items? Um, so we heard from the fans that they were looking for Adidas product that more closely aligns with what our teams are wearing. And so that's been a lot of in the ordering process, what I've been targeting. Um, so there will be a lot of that. We even have um, some pieces that the coaches have picked out, the graphics or the what's going on, the shirts um, or sweatshirts, things like that. I also work, I oversee the equipment staff as well. And so I worked very closely with them to align what we were ordering with what the teams had ordered for this year. So that's going to be really exciting and has been received really well. And then the other piece is we have officially brought back the Fighting Husky logo um, and are selling it as part of the um, apparel shop. So there are a bunch of products in the shop that have that Fighting Husky logo, and it's been a huge hit so far. Oh, I know. I'm very excited about the classic logo as well. Uh, <laughs> and speaking of some of some Husky classics, uh, we just heard news about the Husky Legends line of jerseys. Tell me about that and where people can get them. Absolutely. So the Husky Legends line is a line of replica jerseys that we created to honor some of our former student athletes who've become legends in NIU football program. Um their jerseys will look like the jerseys that those legends wore during their time at NIU. Uh, each year we'll release three Husky Legends jerseys. So if someone's favorite player doesn't come out this year, hang on. They'll probably be out in the next couple of years. Um, our three Husky Legends this year are George Bork, Michael Turner, and Jordan Lynch. And so those uh, jerseys will be available for sale on football game days, both in the yard and our Kia at our kiosk under the east side of the uh, Husky Stadium. And as far as online shopping goes, what's the update on that? Yeah, so I know um, there's been a lot of questions about it. We would not ever want to leave out our long distance fans. Um, so there will be an online store coming soon um, with tons of Adidas product, including the Fighting Husky. It will be available for sale online. Um, we are close. We're just not there yet. But as soon as it's up and running, um, we will blast it out so fans know exactly where to find us and what all is available. So fans, please stay tuned on that one. We've talked a lot about some of the work that you've been doing here at Northern Illinois, but let's talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, this is your second year back with Northern Illinois, but it is not your second year overall at Northern Illinois. You've spent a long time here before as well. Tell us a little bit about your career journey and how you got to the position that you're in right now. Sure. So I actually attended NIU as a student um, and worked as a student manager with our football team throughout my time in school. Um, after graduation, I was hired full time to work with baseball, softball, gymnastics and wrestling. Uh, I did that for a little while and then moved over to be the head equipment manager for our football program um, full time. Uh, was in that role for a few years before taking the same role out at Temple University um, after a little over four years there, I had the opportunity to come home and be a part of this amazing athletic department again. So um, it's really been awesome being home um, and, and back at back with the Huskies. How has the experience differed a little bit from the last time you were around? Um, so equipment was what I did as a student. And so uh, it's kind of what I knew, what I was comfortable in, um, kind of got to a point where you know, every day is different, but a little bit of a routine. Um, so this time has been really cool because I've been able to help our young equipment managers grow and develop and see the way that they're blossom blossoming in their careers. Um, but also at the same time, Sean, Sean Frazier has given me an opportunity to take a step outside of my comfort zone in this retail side of things. Um, and I appreciate him for allowing me to do that. He's um, someone who's really helped me with my growth in my career. So, um, but again, like I said earlier too, everyone in NIU athletics, every department has had their hand in this. And so it's been really awesome to branch out and work with all the different departments um, in, in various ways to make it come to life. And then I just want to make sure uh, we're clear on this. How much free merchandise did you say you're going to throw my way? Uh, you know what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll 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 sort it out off the air. Okay. <laughs> uh, Paige Schinberg, the associate athletic director for brand and equipment management. Thank you so much for enlightening all us all of us about uh, some of the husky gear that's available at Northern Illinois. And thanks for your time today on NAU Weekly. Thank you.
Before we say goodbye on this first episode of NIU Weekly for the 2024-25 school year, I want to take a look at some of the uh, sports that are coming up this week at NIU and around the country involving NIU teams. It is an exciting week here on campus because it is the first week of classes and, of course, the first full week of an athletic schedule as well. Both of the soccer teams, the men's and the women's teams, were able to get underway last week. Each team already has a win under their belt, but it's a full week of action for them as we look ahead to uh, Thursday night, Thursday afternoon, actually. Women's soccer is at home against Southern Indiana, and the men's team heads out to Tennessee. They take on Memphis. That's a 7 o'clock game on Thursday night. Uh, both teams are back in action on the weekend as well. On Sunday, men's soccer takes on Green Bay right here in DeKalb. That's a one o'clock start time. And the women's team goes up north to Michigan, uh, and they'll take on Oakland University in Rochester, Michigan. Friday, big day, of course, for volleyball as they open the season against Western Illinois. It's a six o'clock start time on Friday night, and that is the season opener for volleyball. The next day, Western Illinois stays on our minds because the game that we've been talking about throughout much of today's show, the football team takes on Western Illinois. That's a two 30 start time at Husky Stadium on Saturday. So, of course, we'll see you there. And then Sunday, I already mentioned the two soccer games. Volleyball is also in action on Sunday. They take on Milwaukee. That's a home game on Sunday afternoon at 3. And men's golf gets rolling. It's the Island Resort Intercollegiate all day, both Sunday and Monday. The name's a little misleading. Island Resort, I thought, was going to be some exotic locale. It's actually, actually in Bark River, Michigan. Uh, which is a beautiful location itself up in the northern Palint the upper peninsula, uh, northern Michigan. So that's men's golf on Sunday and Monday. So all of the fall sports are getting rolling here at NIU. Very exciting time in the school year. Very exciting time to be a Husky. And that's going to do it for our first episode here in 2024 of NIU Weekly. I hope I didn't make you miss Andy too much. It was a lot of fun. Uh, big thank you to our guest today, Thomas Hammock, the head coach of the Huskies football team, uh, and of course, Paige Shinberg, the Associate Athletic Director for Brand and Equipment Management. Remember, the first football game of the season is coming up this Saturday. We'll be talking to Coach Hammock throughout this season on NIU Weekly, and we'll be joining you uh, appropriately enough for a show called NIU Weekly. We'll be joining you every week with updates on NIU athletics throughout this fall. So uh, don't miss the season opener on Saturday at Husky Stadium, 2.30 start time. And don't forget as well to listen to the broadcast. You can do that from inside the stadium or, of course, from home as well, uh, wherever you happen to be. Make sure you have your radio with you. 94.9 WDKB in DeKalb. Uh, if you're not in DeKalb, you can also find us on the TuneIn app. Uh, and you can also go online as well, 949WDKB.com. That's going to do it for our first edition this school year of NIU Weekly. Thanks so much for joining us. Terry Bonadonna here. I'll be back next week, and uh, hopefully we'll be talking about a Huskies win. We'll see you then.